All I gotta say is a karma is a you know what because a subscriber and a really good guy you know trucking for years owner operator he's out at uh, Joplin at the truck stop and this trans king goes and pretty much scrapes and pills his one of one bumper on his Peterbilt he calls the company trans king out in Canada and pretty much they told him to punch sand, right? And so at this point, he's upset. Uh, he calls up uh, DOT, looks up FMCSA, and pretty much the FMCSA says that this company, TransKing, is actually not even authorized to be working and trucking at the moment, especially not in America. They have 38 trucks. And can you imagine that uh, for whatever reason, they're not authorized to be trucking in America and they are. I'm not sure how they're getting through or what. But TransKing, since you didn't want to take care of my guy, well, guess what? Now the FMCSA is investigating your company. Mother Truckers, let's get into this interview. So you're in your truck right now. What's the situation that happened? Uh, you know, I got a message from you. Basically, uh, a, a trucker from Canada didn't even have a CDL. I hit your truck in the Joplin uh, truck stop in Missouri, and um, pretty much he tried to pay you cash, and the company, uh, you said no, 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 and the, you, know, you reached out to the company, and the company made you kick rocks. Am I close? <laughs> yeah, what happened was uh, he hit me on the entrance to a truck stop in Joplin, Missouri, and uh, I had witnesses to it and everything, and he, he claimed he didn't ever hit me. And uh, on his way out, you know, I had to have these witnesses. They stopped him from leaving. So when he got back in there, he, he offered to pay for the damages. And I have a special one-off bumper that costs $2,000. And he was telling me there's no way my bumper costs $2,000 even though he was offering to pay me for my damages and I couldn't tell whether my headlight was bent backwards. I you know, really just was too hyped up to look at the grill and see if it was bent. Uh, the sheriff department, they, the truck stop I was at pays the sheriff department to patrol it. He came up and, and asked the driver for his ID and, and, and stuff and the driver did not even have a driver's license. Uh, he, he, I, I should clarify that he didn't have a driver's license in his possession. So how he got into the States, how he's been driving, I have no idea. Uh, I called his company two days later and they were like the part, the accident happened in a truck stop parking lot. So we're not paying for the damages. We're not liable for that. And uh, I was like, I was for one amazed that the police officers that went from the sheriff's department to Joplin PD, they let the driver go and continue on his trip and without a driver's license. Well, after I talked to his company and they told me to go pound sand, basically, they weren't going to pay for the damages. Uh, I filed a complaint with FMCSA against their MC number to gain justice that way. And they let me know that their MC number had been suspended and they weren't even allowed to be in the United States. Wow. So, and I contacted his insurance company and they said up in Canada, it's different than the United States that they have to pay the first part of the accident, which is their deductible, before the insurance pays. 
and they, the insurance company has to send them notification that a claim has been filed and how do they want to handle it. So needless to say, irregardless, if the trucking company doesn't want to pay it, the insurance company won't pay it because my total damages was under their, their deductible. So there's no way for me to gain reimbursement. You know, that's crazy. So, you know, the best that we could get them with is pretty much put them on blast, Gary, that uh, their company should be suspended because on the FMCSA site, it shows that they should not be uh, uh, moving around and uh, uh, trucking right now. Yes, exactly. They're not even supposed to be allowed to be in the United States. Uh, I don't know if you want me to tell you the name of the company yes, over the years. Yes, air. yes. Uh, the name of the company is Trans King. So if you guys see a Trans King truck out there, it doesn't matter, you know, it, it'll say Trans King on the trailer with the lion on it. Uh, if you see it, watch out because they're not going to pay for anything if they run you over. They, they don't even have operating authority here in the United States. That's craziness. That's that's craziness. So, Trans King, the fact that you did not want to help my guy Gary out and do the right thing, uh, the world now knows that if they see a Trans King truck with the line on it out of what Ontario, Cal uh, Ontario, Canada, Brampton, Ontario, Canada. You know, we'll let people know. Hey, if you guys All see right. a Trans King, uh, don't uh, don't go next to him. Because they should even be driving in America. <laughs> yeah, definitely watch out for them. They're they're a danger to society out here today. No, yeah, I'm I'm glad you're okay though, and I'm glad it, uh, you know, uh, to have you on the show. So I appreciate you, brother. All right, have a great day, Alex. All right, you too. Bye. Bye.